You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have new city councilor from Ward 6, Jack Lally. Welcome, Jack. Thanks for Welcome having me. Welcome back to the studio. Um, elections over. Now you are the councilor, and I understand you have your first event that you want to get people to come and talk to you, tell them their concerns. Tell us yes. about it. Well, on February 24th, uh, we're going to have the first ward meeting, which will be, uh, it'll be at 7 p.m., and it will be at the Brookfield Elementary School. Okay, right in Ward 6? Right uh, in Ward 6, at the end of John Drive. Okay, and what do you hope to do at the meeting? What are your goals? Well, I want to I introduce myself to, to maybe people who didn't meet me over the over the campaign season mm -hmm. and it'll give it'll give the people a chance to ask questions we're gonna have you know we're gonna have people come in I, I got confirmation that the uh, the mayor would the mayor would mayor would try and come in mm -hmm. so we're gonna we're gonna you know fill try and try and fill the area and bring in bring in people who can explain things to uh to you know to the residents of the ward like you know, hopefully try and get try and get someone maybe from the police department who'd say, you know, this is what we're currently trying to do to make your ward safe. Things things like that. They they can update update the residents of the ward where they might have concerns, try and field questions. Mm -hmm. Uh Joyce Asac is going to be there, the uh the newly elected school committee woman. So she's gonna She's going to help with people's questions regarding the school department. Mm -hmm. yeah, things, uh, things like that. So you're also possibly hoping that some of your at-large colleagues might join you since they represent the full city yep. as well. Okay. I, uh, I, I made sure to to invite all of them. So if any any of them want to show up, you know they can they can give they can give a uh, you know get up there for a couple minutes, give their you know, a little bit of their presentation, what they're working on. I believe the the councilors at large are. I've heard talk about you know them putting together their own ward meeting. Yeah, all four of them having a citywide meeting. Well, we're still hoping that they'll put that together and include folks like me from Southeastern because that forum we had before, where we got everybody together, we got the councilors, the mayor, and the school committee all together, and the two of us from Southeastern, because the voters, voters, hear me. I'm still talking election. The constituents want to talk to their elected officials and they they really can't do that at the council meeting they can attend it they can watch what you guys are doing your deliberations finance they can be invited to appear if there's a topic that someone invites them to appear but otherwise the only way to do communication is at a ward meeting mm. like you're mm. talking about doing yeah there's only so much time and after after the council meetings mm -hmm. where the councilors are you know some we'll we'll try and you know, talk to talk to people in the in the room, but sometimes we might have to rush back back out for something. You never know. But no, ward meetings are a great way for you to go. You know, go for an hour, two hours, mm -hmm. and just have a direct sort of want sort of conversation with your with your counselor. Not trying to put you on the spot. I'm just asking, how often do you think you're going to do a ward meeting? Uh, are you talking monthly? Are you talking every other month? Quarterly? What are your thoughts? You know, I'm I'm not sure. I'm still I'm still sort of working it out, still kind of feeling it out. But I'm I'm leaning more towards either every other month or quarterly, because mm -hmm. monthly monthly meetings have merit, but you also run the risk of not really having anything to talk about sure. that is developed within a month, and so you you know you buy you know buy some pizzas, you, you reserve the whole area handful of people come and you sit with nothing right and it it really doesn't it really I don't think it works as well as no. yeah. you first second month you're in office ward meeting that's important because I know your previous ward council held ward meetings there are some councils that hold quite a few and there are some councils that don't hold any mm. Michelle, I Michelle, was, Michelle, Michelle was, was very that. big with you know the yeah, outreach she meetings. made sure you could you know, you could you could go contact or you could go talk to Michelle if you had something up. So what are you getting? What's what's going on so far? How have you uh, acclimated yourself to the whole process? You, you're you're in. Uh, we're in the beginning of February. We'll we'll run this right up to the day before your meeting, so we can let people know that it's happening. 
um, and we'll give you the coordinates for YouTube. If you want to post it, you can use it too. Um, what, what type of feedback have you gotten from your constituents so far? Is your phone ringing off the hook? Are you getting a lot of calls on any one particular issue or what? I have not, and this is, this is really because, you know, I think because everything's been, there's nothing really on the agenda yet, mm -hmm. you know, a new legislative session, so everything's been cleared. So there is no real big issues that people are, you know, calling calling up their counselors about. My phone hasn't been hasn't been that active. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had a couple of calls about issues, and I've been able to, you know, at least, at you know, at, at best, help solve the issue, and at least give you know give them the right steps. Send them to the right solve, person. Send them to the right person. Yes. Okay. So. But uh, the the uh, an issue coming up, and hopefully it's not an issue. I look at it as a uh, as a positive. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, the old remove a park? Mm -hmm. That land is being put out to bid, hopefully, to um, become a sort of a sports complex. You know, some soccer fields, things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's right behind the baseball fields at the Brookfield Elementary School. So. It's a good location, and the access road would be off of 37, mm -hmm. so there's not going to be increased traffic in the the neighborhood surrounding it. So I I, I tend to view that as a uh, as a positive, but that's something that voters can reach out, uh, voters constituents can uh, reach out reach out to me on, and hopefully we'll discuss during the ward meeting. Okay, you're accessible. I know you have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Um, and what about a phone, t your phone number, which we conveniently posted for everybody on Channel 12. Everybody has the number up there. Um, tell us, tell people your phone number so they can get in touch with you if they need to. My phone number is 508-410-0330. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Facebook, is it Jack Lally or John Lally? I forget. Uh, the Facebook, the campaign Facebook is John F. Lally. Right. My Facebook is Jack Lally. Okay, so, so either look, one. Look for you on there. There you go. So uh, just to recap, Ward 6 meeting, Brookfield Elementary School, the 24th of February at 7 o'clock. And Jack is going to have his first meeting. Invite everybody from Ward 6 to come. And uh, you have neighboring wards, so you never know. You might get some strays from Ward 5 or, or whatever. Um, any final thoughts you want to say to uh, your constituents? Well, I uh, hope to see hope to see him at the meeting. Perfect. That's yeah. Perfect. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.